dress for the day. I'm not putting makeup on or anything. I did put like some cream under my eyes, but y'all, I just want y'all to know that I don't do this to show off. And I do hope y'all understand that when I fix my hair like this, I'm not trying to be like, oh, look at my luxurious ponytail. But I mean, it is what it is, y'all. And I'm sorry. I'm sorry that some of y'all don't have this luxurious, long, just flowing ponytail. I'm sorry. And please understand that I don't fix my hair like this as a way to show off. So I hope y'all understand that. Um, because that is not how it's meant. So, um, yeah, when y'all see it and it's just out there, I mean, I know if I didn't have it, I would probably be jealous too, but hopefully you're not. And hopefully, you know, it doesn't, uh, cause any problems between us that y'all just like accept it. It is what it is. And we can move past this. Look at this. <laughs> Look at this. What? <laughs> okay, you worked hard. We just came inside from working outside. Okay. Okay, I want to show y'all what I have tried out on this headboard. So, this is what it looks like. And I'm going to, I want to change this color. Um, so, in order to do that, I was going to have to tape up this. Well, that's going to be very hard. So, what I've done, as you can see, I have took this Hammer Finish Cocoa Brown. And I've sprayed it in my lid. Let me show you. Oh. And get some in my lid. And then I take this brush... This little brush and then I've been like going over it just kind of letting the paint do the work for me like that and then I do around all of it and then I'm gonna let that dry and then when I go to paint this I can tape up all of this with no problem and then I can just paint the rest of it with this um, spray paint and I think that's gonna work um, I definitely think that's gonna work and I really like this color I think it's gonna go well with the bedroom furniture because I wanted the depth and I think it'll kind of blend in all this there's no, no, not a whole lot I can do about this I mean I could possibly rub and buff it but I'm gonna put it in there and just see but yeah, I think this is gonna work. So I'm gonna do this, let this fully dry, and then I will tape it up and take it outside and spray paint it. But this is working really well. And it's runny enough that it can kind of run and get in all those little grooves. Sorry about y'all hear the wind blowing my garage door. And I like this hammered finish because it's thin. It doesn't have to be smooth because it has that, oh, that little bit of a, and then I just kind of get all around right here. Oh, sorry, y'all couldn't even see that. I just get it like all around right here, just going around that scallop because I am gonna spray paint, but, and then I can touch up any of that that needs be, but yeah, I like that. I think that's gonna work. All right, so I'm gonna let that dry and proceed.
I have got to run to Lowe's <laughs> to get another can of paint. That is the hardest stinking paint to spray with, but I'm out. So I am gonna go get another can and I may try to find me one of those little nozzle things. I know we have one somewhere, <sighs> but it is just about killed my thumb. But I love the color of it. I think it is really going to just accent that brass and I may play around with the leg part that won't be seen and kind of go over it with a little more, some different paints to kind of see if I can really like brass it up. But even if I don't, I think it's fine. <sighs> I'm telling you y'all, what I get myself into? What I get myself into? <laughs> I had no intentions of doing this today, none. But you know, when the mood strikes and the ideas come, I mean, I have been thinking about it since we brought it home. I've been looking up different things and products and I'm just like, let me just get out there and wing it and see what I have and just kind of go from there. So that's what I did. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> I mean, worst case scenario, I can just paint it a different color. It's not that big of a deal. It's just paint. So I knew that I didn't want it black. Um, but I may look at some different paints and see what they have and just go from there. So, off to Lowe's I go. I found it. Found ours. Thank goodness I didn't buy one because it was like $12. It was a little fancier than this one. But I found ours. Game changer. So, I've just put another coat on the front side of the headboard with this little beauty right here. <laughs> and... I also, while I was there, look what I found the mama. I got her one of these, the shirts that she wanted. They had one left that she, the size that she wanted, so I'm giving her that tomorrow. And then I had ordered some candles from Bath and & Body, and I ordered the wrong one, so I've got to swap those out tomorrow. I'm going to take them and exchange them for the ones I thought I was ordering. But while I was at Lowe's, I got this because I thought about this would have been an idea to do underneath and then we'll go over it with that. It probably would have took less paint. And I may do that on the back side. I don't know. But it's a coffee bean. It's that color. And then I also picked up this. And I'm thinking this one is called Champagne Bronze. And I'm thinking that top bar that goes across where there's some fading in it, I may spray this in a cap and touch it up with a paintbrush like that. Um, I might do that. We'll see. If not, I mean, I will, I will be using these on something. So, got those. So, that is a, my little Lowe's haul. But, yeah, you're going to be doing a lot of spray painting. Y'all, I can't recommend that enough. What are you doing, Buster? What are you doing? <laughs> but it's been a rather productive day. I was going to show y'all what I did. Um, y'all remember I showed y'all this was my hummingbird feeder that it had rusted so bad? Well, I got to thinking that bottle is just too pretty. <laughs> so I threw away the part that screws on to this part, and then I took the little hanger off. And I thought this would be pretty just to have some cut flowers in. I mean, I just can't see throwing it away and wasting it. So I did wash it up and I'll just kind of set it up there and maybe put some cut flowers in it. It's just too pretty. Too pretty. Oh my goodness. All right. I've got to go pick up groceries in about an hour. They'll be ready. I was going to go when James got off from work because we just needed a few things, including what I was gonna cook for dinner tonight. And I was like, why, why, why? Just do a grocery pickup and it'll all be done for you because going in there at that time of evening is crazy. So I just did a grocery pickup, I'm gonna pick it up. And call that a day. But I uh, had no, I, no idea I was gonna do this to the headboard today, but motivation struck and we go when we're motivated. <laughs> also, I want to tell y'all right now, as I'm filming this, Lowe's has mulch 
five bags for $10. And I'm gonna be going and getting some mulch and mulching my beds. I'm gonna do all of them, so you'll see Green Acres. I love that show. <laughs> love me some Green Acres, but right now, I'm gonna go shut the back door because of the flies. But I'm gonna sit down just a minute and uh, let me go fix this tarp. All right. Flipped it over, painted the other side. It's done. So I'm gonna let it dry. I was worried about flipping it over, but it was like really dry. There was no tackiness or anything. It's been out in the blazing hot sun for a couple hours. So all is good. I'll let that stay out there for a few hours. Look at it, see if I need to touch up anything, but um, the part is done. Okay, because we took the wheels off of the frame and it will be metal on tile, we don't want that. So James has found, what kind of board is that, James? Huh? Two It's got this tube of six. He's gonna cut four pieces, drill a, how, how big deep of a hole? About a half inch. Half inch, the, width, the diameter of the legs on the bed frame so it'll fit in there and it won't mess up our tile, and I think it's gonna work. What do you think, James? It's gonna work. <laughs> it's gonna work, Mr. Engineer? Okay, here we are. I just got all that clean in the bed. I was surprised it wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. <laughs> Vacuumed the rug, wiped everything down. I just used some Clorox wipes to kind of mop that part. And then once I get everything done, I'll mop the whole room. But yeah, this is a marketplace find, this rug. I got it for $35 uh, or 25, I can't remember. May have been 25. Anyway, I got it. And then when we were doing the refresh of the grout and stuff last year, we took it outside and hosed it off. I think it's an indoor-outdoor rug. And it looks 
fine. Where you, what you see now is just where it's just kind of been the legs of the other bed have been on it. So, oh, I'm so excited. All right, can't keep talking. Got to get to work. Y'all, James always thinks of stuff I don't think about. He routered the edges around here just so on the off chance it wouldn't snag like my bed skirt or anything. And this is what it's looking like. We set this up and this, then this won't dig into the rug and that is a strong piece of wood. So, that's what it's looking like. Okay, I'm gonna share a little tip what we're doing. Um, if you've ever had a metal headboard, they can be very like top heavy and not secure and sturdy. So what we've done is we bought some of these clamps and I spray painted it to match the bed. And we're gonna secure it into the wall there and put one down there. And then that way the headboard will be secure and we won't have any issues with it being top heavy, with you moving and it clanking and banging. So that's what we're gonna do. Okay, one last thing I'm gonna do before I show y'all the reveal of the bedroom is I have these finials on the ends of my curtain rods that I'm going to spray paint to look like brass. So I'm gonna use this, it's called Champagne Bronze. Okay, y'all, this is what the room looks like on a typical day with the headboard, but I am gonna turn the ceiling fan off because it is kinda breezy and um, turn the overhead light on and take give y'all a closer look at the headboard. But this is how it looks. I could not be happier with it, honestly, but I will include some night shots of what it looks like with the lamps and everything. But let me get the ceiling fan turned off and some lights on. Okay. So, as you can see, I did not do anything to this because I kind of liked the way it all just kind of, I didn't want it to look brand new. So, it does look a little more vintage and used like that. I did use my, well, y'all saw, I spray painted that, left the brass, the original brass. There is the finials on the curtain rod. They look great. But this is how it looks, and y'all, I am just, I love it so much. And when it's made and everything, you can't even see where we attached it to the wall, but that made all the difference in the world. And I am just in love with it. I love it so much. Um, bed skirt fit, everything. We actually have more walkway here. Um, the other bed come out to about right there. So we actually gained some space, which is a plus. So I really like that without losing any of our like bed space. It was just the frame of the other, other bed. So that's what it looks like. And I will include, like I said, some night shots for y'all to see, but I couldn't be happy with it. If you have any questions, um, just let me know. But I think I pretty much covered everything and how I did it. Buster, what do you think about it? Do you love the new bed? Our headboard, do you care? <laughs> <laughs>